welcome to the Mini Lays Pro basic overview tutorial. By now you should have unpacked your Mini Lays machine and got your software installed on your laptop or desktop PC uh, and all of your cables connected as well. Um, as you know the Mini Lays Pro package you're either running it on Windows 7 64-bit or 32-bit as well as Windows XP and you should have your machine powered on and your USB cable connected. You can find all the information for this if you haven't yet done it in the quick start guide that comes with your system. There's uh, easy steps to follow that'll get you connected and get your software package up and running. So I want to give you a basic overview of the MiniLays Pro package. First of all, it does run again on Windows and it installs just like any other type of software that you would run on Windows. Uh, the software is easily identified because the logo or the icon for the Mini Lays is itself a picture of the Mini Lays. And you'll find this not only on your desktop, but on your start menu as well. So you can identify the, uh, the software quickly and easily just by looking for a picture of the Mini Lays system. So give you a basic overview here of the software. Essentially right now the software is open, but there is no active marking file open. So this is what you're going to see when you first open MiniLays Pro. You can see, just like we have in a standard Windows environment, we have some general menus across the top. And we also have a slew of icons. Now some of these icons are, are valid right now and some of them aren't. And that's because we currently don't have any file open. You can see we have an icon for a new file or to open an existing file. We also have a few buttons over here. So I want to briefly talk about the buttons on this side of the screen for a moment. Uh, the mini lays as you as you have connected uh, uses a USB uh, connection cable to communicate from the PC to the system in order to control the laser marking. Um, now you have to know uh, that the mini lays is connected and you have to have an active connection between the two in order to run it. And this icon here of the mini lays as it's depressed now symbolizes that the mini lays is connected. Okay, so it's depressed and turned on. If the MiniLay software were not connected, you would see the following icon. You would see SIM. Now what that stands for is a simulation mode. And what that means is you can run the software in simulation mode, but you'll just get a small pop-up box here that shows you what would be happening had the laser been connected. So if you see this icon, there's a couple things you may want to do. You may want to first uh, check and make sure the driver's installed properly. And you can do that by going to the device manager and checking that you have the, the laser listed, uh, the laser system listed in your device manager under USB. Um, <clears throat> you also want to check the cable connections and make sure every, everything's plugged in. Sometimes the USB uh, just needs a simple unplug and replug. If you see this icon and, and you're not connected, you can easily click on the icon and give it a moment and the system will reconnect. So now I'm reconnected to the mini lay system. Uh, here sitting next to me. So uh, once it's connected, you see you have the laser status. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. The laser status is a quick and easy way for the op operator or the user to get some basic information about the system. So, for example, if you need to, to quickly get a serial number, you can find it here. We can also find the firmware release. Uh, we can find the temperature of the diode that the laser system is using. We can also find the general overall temperature and the voltage of the system. And we can also see the current state and very importantly we can see the hours. Now you can see we have two different categories here uh, and I am connected to a machine currently in our demonstration lab. The diode only has 18 hours on it as you can see and the system has 102 overall hours. This is basically your on time here for system and your diode symbolizes the actual amount of marking time. So you can see we've had the system powered on for 102 hours, but we've only actually been laser marking out of those 102 hours for approximately 18 hours, 22 minutes, and 17 seconds. So you can see there that you get quite a bit of life uh, 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 just on the system in general, and you're barely putting any hours on the diode. If we ever ask you for any information or a serial number or anything for your laser system, this is a very quick and easy way to find that. Um, so heads up on where that is. I'll go ahead and close that. Now another thing I want to mention here is that you do have another feature that's important for whenever you are um, 
wanting to set up your, your software, and what I mean by that is the ability to set up fonts. The MiniLace Pro software uses any type of Windows TrueType font available on the market. Um, so anything that you can run on your standard Windows system, for example, anything that you may use in Microsoft Word or Access, Corel Draw, maybe Photoshop, any of these standard programs that you may use on your uh, MiniLace system, uh, you can uh, install excuse me, on your computer uh, Windows system, you can install directly into MiniLays Pro. So to do that, you need to make sure that the software is open just in the current configuration. And then you need to be able to go here to File and go to Fonts. And what this is going to do is it's going to read your Windows font directory. And if you're not familiar, this is located on your hard drive, which is typically titled C. And then on Windows, and then there is a folder called fonts. In that folder, you will see all the Windows TrueType fonts that are currently installed in your system. Now, you can see on my computer here, I have quite a bit of different fonts available. Now, the great thing about MiniLace Pro is it automatically does not suck uh, all the fonts out of that folder and stick them into the laser font folder. And the, the, the reason for that is, is because it can become quite overwhelming to have uh, thousands of fonts installed in your software when you only intend to look for one or two. So what this allows you to do is simply choose the font uh, that you may want to install. Uh, for example, let's go down here and let's go to uh, this font called Andale Mono. When I select that, you can see I have my regular style font. And to add it, I simply click the over arrow. Now you can see it is in my list here, and it'll show up in any new file I create. Uh, if I want to remove a font, I can simply click the X. It'll ask me, do I want to remove the selected font? I tell it yes, and my font is removed. You've also got some basic uh, status down here. And you can see here, currently, it, it says that the laser is off. Right now, my system is powered on, but I'm not using the laser right now. Um, so it says laser off. When I turn it on, it would say laser ready. When I'm marking, it would give me a marking indicator. So that's it. That's the basic uh, Mini Lace Pro uh, overview. Uh, you can see there are some other uh, items up here, which are just uh, we'll get into a little bit later in a further tutorial. But that's your basic Mini Lace Pro overview.